irritants in Kashmir policy and dangers ahead. People of Kashmir on Indian side of ceasefire line have been through 62nd day of unlawful imprisonment. We have failed them in forcing Modi government to vacate, if not the aggression and occupation, at least the imprisonment. Reasons are very clear. Pakistan can only help Kashmiri people if it takes urgent steps to correct irritants in its Kashmir policy. The two tweets of Prime Minister of Pakistan on Azadi March organized by JKLF stating, I understand the anguish of Kashmiris in AJK seeing their fellow Kashmiris in Indian occupied Kashmir under inhuman curfew for over two months. But anyone crossing the LOC from AJK to provide humanitarian aid or support to Kashmiri struggle will play into the hands of Indian narrative, a narrative that tries to divert from the indigenous Kashmir struggle against brutal Indian occupation by trying to label it as Islamic terrorism being driven by Pakistan. It will give India an excuse to increase violent oppressions of Kashmiris in Indian-occupied Jammu and Kashmir and attack across LOC. And my two replies, Prime Minister, if we follow UN resolutions, it is a ceasefire line and para 12 of United Nations resolutions 47 guarantees lawful entry and exit to Kashmiris across ceasefire line. Humanitarian interest is a lawful activity. However, under Shimla agreement, it is a LOC and embeds a problem. One by two, jurisprudence of United Nations resolutions on Kashmir should prevail. You have all stands to educate jurisprudence of Kashmiri case. Article 103 of United Nations Charter could help to override the difficulties posed by LOC test kindly keep faith it moves mountain two by two go go a long way in explaining the flaw at core Pakistan is not clear how to reconcile the jurisprudence of Shimla agreement with the jurisprudence of Kashmir case under UN Security Council resolution primarily because our foreign office officially abandoned Kashmiris from 1251st meeting of United Nations Security Council held on November 5, 1965. PTI government has admitted that Kashmir has not been discussed at United Nations Security Council for the last 50 years. As a natural consequence, the generation of officers from November 1965 to 16 August 9, 2019 has not had any reasonable opportunity to keep itself up to date on the jurisprudence of Kashmir case. Foreign Office is still not out of the wood on Kashmir. It has been making serious gaps on Kashmir at the United Nations. In the Supreme Court of Pakistan and recent in July 2019 UN report on human rights in Kashmir, it let go eight times reference to, Kashmir, to Indian occupied Kashmir as the Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir. Foreign Office has started dusting the old Kashmir files and it is not yet ready for Indian challenge. It is surrounded by mediocre Kashmiris and Pakistanis who have never have even been a proper school either. This act of expertise was reflected in the technical content of Prime Minister's speech made at United Nations General Assembly and came out clearly in the anger of Foreign Minister when he faced a question from a media person in Multan. It is unfortunate to see Foreign Minister very angry and un uncomfortable on his home trough. In this age of information, it is very difficult to duck a question and hope to wiggle out uh, of a printed incorrect claim. It goes on. There are some intriguing similarities between surroundings made by leaders in India and leaders in Pakistan on the future of Kashmir. It was 1995 that Indian Prime Minister Narsimhan Rao said that so far as autonomy 
for the state of jammu and kashmir's work was concerned only the sky was the limit implying of course that azadi was out of question it matches with the third point in musharraf's four point formula which reads third introduce self governance or self rule in the identified region or regions let kashmiris have the satisfaction of running their own affairs without having an international character and remaining sort of independence this is where kashmiris have a genuine reason to mistrust the understanding of kashmir case by pakistan ni leadership and in this may pull their hair they remain confused as kashmir is an intra agency issue and all vari- variables have their respective approaches most of the time too many cooks spoil the broth pakistan started with kashmir's right to self determination and argue at united nations security council that accession with india amounted to signing their death warrant kashmir remained pakistan's core issue with india until it became one of the eight outstanding issues in 1999 musharraf proposed a joint control in 2006 on the country Indians kept their course and continued their claim that any future dialogue would be on reclaiming Azad Kashmir, which they call in their diplomatic jargon as Pakistan Occupied Kashmir. At this point, when the United Nations people on the street of the world, parliamentarian and various parliament people of all manners around the world, condemn Indian government for the lockdown of people of Kashmir, we seems. to have no follow up plan after prime minister's speech made at united nations and his robust diplomacy in usa on the contrary without any due consultation government of pakistan used social media to discourage the azadi march organized by jknlf which of course is against the lockdown of their kit and kind on the other side of ceasefire line government of pakistan should have used all resources and constituencies around the world in informing them that kashmiris have decided to cross the ceasefire line under para 12 of united security council resolution 45 which permits a lawful entry and exit of kashmiris taking humanitarian aid across the ceasefire line and crossing over to inquire about their welfare is lawful entry and exit pakistan should have washed its hand off any use of force and ask you UN to take over the responsibility on the contrary holding these marches back and using any kind of force on them is unhelpful after all these years of neglect government of pakistan should have backed up its first concern by pointing out that there are 2.5 billion kashmiri refugees living in four provinces of pakistan these refugees do have a right under para 13 of united nations security council resolutions 47 to return to their home in the indian occupied kashmir pakistan should have left the ball in the united nations security court to decide the right of the people to cross the ceasefire line under para 12 and 13 of united nations security council resolutions 47 In London today Kashmiri men women children and elderly along with members of other community had a candlelight walk from Parliament Square to Indian High Commission via Trafalgar Square Parliament Square and Thames water revibrated with the shouts of Modi terrorist Modi Hitler butcher Modi India go back killing forces go back and free Kashmir It would be a cross error of judgment if the PTI government does not act out of ordinary and work on the sympathetic constituency increasing every moment in the support of people of kashmir the caveat however is that present stock and mindset in the foreign office and their beloved constituency of mediocres in kashmiris hired for optic would have to be pushed it would be a tragedy if the credible variables in the diaspora decide to disown the government of azad kashmir and declares that they don't trust the understanding of the case by foreign office of pakistan pti government has raised the benchmark in the quality of representation of kashmir case let it correct the irritants and keep soaring to the new heights